Hello, my name's uh, Rob Orr. I'm a credentialed McKenzie therapist and also a clinical myotherapist. Uh, welcome to my consultation room. Uh, and also welcome to Rob Orr Pain Clinic. Today I'd like to demonstrate an exercise that is specifically for a condition called a lateral shift of the lower spine, which involves a disc bulge. And this is referenced to Robin McKenzie. So let me just show you what a lateral shift looks like. So, I'm standing nice and straight, so I'm, I'm not shifted. An example of a lateral shift towards the right, so my pelvis is moved towards the right. I'm actually stuck in this position. Most common reason is a disc bulge. And what we need to do, we actually need, you, we need to get you back into an upright position, and then we need to add in one more movement to it. So let me just demonstrate now how you can self-correct this lateral shift if you do fit in this category. So we basically are against a door frame or a wall like so. So basically it'll be shifted like this. So my powers are shifted towards the right. Once again, I'm in this position like so, so I'm shifted. And the whole idea basically is to now try and bring your pelvis back into the middle. Actually actually past the midline towards the left, that's the goal, and we bring it back to the middle again, and then we're going to repeat this movement. Now what you'll find, that if you are shifted like so, you might find you, you can only do little movements at a time, these little tiny movements, and that's fine. It might take 15, 20 repetitions, it might take an, uh, a number of sets before you can actually achieve the end goal. So once again, you get these creep the pelvis by taking the pelvis towards the left and then we're just relaxing a little bit and then we bring it towards the left again and the whole goal is to try and get past the midline like so and then try and add some extension by moving your pelvis towards the door don't push through the pain bringing it back and then back to the midline only don't go past the midline and then we bring the pelvis towards the left again. If I'm getting pain there, I'll stop. And then I'll move towards the wall to try and extend my back like so, and then come back towards the midline. And we just repeat this. I'm trying to go further if I can, and then towards the wall like so. Once again, I'm trying to correct the shift by moving it towards the left as I'm shifted to the right, and then bring in my extension movement. We're trying to aim for about 10 to 15 reps to begin with, and we'll progress from there. When you finish the exercise, you use this hand here, which is my right hand since I was originally shifted to the right. This hand goes on my pelvis, okay? And I just walk towards the wall so nice and straight, and I'll go for a little walk around the room to free up. See how this hand is on my pelvis here? That's important for that first 30 seconds to 60 seconds, just to help support that shift. Because just remember, you originally were like so, and then we've done the exercise where we've got you back to the centre, and this hand here is for additional support. I would recommend to do this exercise every couple of hours, or even every hour if required, and just remember never to push through any pain. If you find that it's just not achieving the result you're after, then please feel free to contact me on www.roborpainclinic.com.au, where you can message me or book appointment if required, or you can email me on info at roborpainclinic.com.au. Thank you.